All right, welcome back everybody. Good Friday evening to you all. Uh, for a lot of people, the Christmas holiday vacation period really begins just a couple of hours ago. Right now it's 32 degrees, wind finally calming down. Another blustery day here for a lot of the state. Great Falls, 27. All right, and uh, happy winter everybody. Winter officially began at 323 this afternoon. Why exactly at that time? Well, that's exactly when the North Pole has tilted as far away from the sun as possible, and now it's starting to go back, tilting towards uh, the sun. Current temperatures, 20s and 30s, pretty much across the board, and yeah, it was a windy day for just about everybody here, but the wind in some spots is beginning to die down. Still fairly gusty up around Cup Bank. Haver, it's calm now, but uh, from Haver out through Glasgow, down through Jordan, it will be a windy day tomorrow. This is new. Uh, the high wind warning for the Judith Gap area just allowed to expire. Still a little in the way of some gusty winds out there. And this storm is pretty much over as well. You can see a couple of rounds of snow have uh, moved through here. A few snow showers up there around uh, Ovando, over around uh, Greeno as well. A couple of snow showers have pushed through the Bear Paws, through Chinook, through uh, Harlem and Haver. There's a little snow just to the north up there around the Cypress Hills. Some of that may come down into northeast East Montana here tonight. Uh, so with temperatures also dropping into the teens and 20s, some of that snow may stick on the road surfaces there. Not talking a lot, but just enough to make it a little slippery. And uh, boy, look at all that rain all the way up into New England, washing away uh, some of that snow that has been piling up over the last few weeks. Flood watches and warnings there in northern New England. And yeah, okay, we've got a winter weather advisory for the Cascades, a winter storm watch into the Sierra, but not really much going on here across the country heading into a big travel weekend. For Montana tomorrow, we'll have a fairly windy day again out into the eastern part of Montana, but not so windy. Even uh, up around the Rocky Mountain front, it won't be the worst wind uh, that we've ever seen. Mostly sunny skies here for a lot of the state. A little in the way of some snow overnight tonight uh, down the Continental Divide, even all the way down to Manida Pass here. But uh, heading into Sunday, look at the clouds increasing, and we'll have some snow mainly in the mountains along and west of the Continental Divide. Maybe a little snow around the capital, also little potential snow up around uh, Great Falls as we get into Sunday evening. And another round of snow will go through Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Snowfall amounts, not the heaviest here. We're talking light snow, just a little, and uh, nothing will really pile up. But as we go through the course of next week, there will be several days in a row where we have some light snow moving through the state. So here's the forecast for tonight, teens and 20s, and maybe a few snow showers still pushing out uh, through the northeast part of the state. Uh, maximum uh, accumulation, maybe about an inch up there. Teens and 20s, central Montana, teens and 20s here around the capital. And here's the forecast for tomorrow, Saturday. It's a mostly sunny day and a mostly average day as far as the temperatures go. 20s and low to mid 30s here. Little windier out in the eastern part of the state, out there along the High Line too, also looking at some wind. Sunday, increasing clouds and just a little smattering of some light snow in the western part of the state. Nothing that heavy. Mountain passes may pick up an inch or two. Christmas Eve, Monday, and we've got a little sunshine the farther east you go, but here comes yet another fairly weak system that will make for a little light snow into Christmas Day. Best chance for snow Christmas Day, probably from Missoula through the capital down into the south central part of the state. May have a little light snow up around the High Line, but a little drier pattern uh, further north you go here on Christmas Day. Here is the seven day forecast and just about every single day next week there will be areas uh, near the capital that will be getting some snow here. Uh, we'll also have temperatures getting a little colder through the course of the week and for Great Falls partly to mostly sunny tomorrow, mostly cloudy Sunday, probably not seeing any snow Sunday, but a better chance for snow Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Not talking a huge accumulation, maybe a coating up to an inch or two and uh, Still makes for a white Christmas, though. Yeah, a dusting is all a I'm looking dusting, for. Dusting, well, that's what you'll get <laughs> in your stocking. Thanks for that, Curtis.